Here's the problem. You think too much. This is how you are with me. It's all these stupid games. Tell me how me being here with you right now is a game. Because at any minute, you could just start... I don't know, I don't know. You could probably start rubbing it in my face that I didn't have anywhere else to go. Or the fact that it's Christmas and... Everyone is hanging out with their freaking friends and family, and I can't think of one single place where I feel like I belong. All right, listen, I'll There's talk to you later. Con some okay. concern about the leadership of Lewis Construction. Do you care to comment? We are aware of the speculation, but under the strong leadership of Bill Lewis, this company is thriving. He is a determined businessman who will stop at nothing to make Lewis succeed. In fact, Bill Lewis was the one who took charge of this project in the first place. His father, Billy, and I have been working on it for months and we're all set to announce it. But smart, determined Bill Lewis got me drunk, used secrets he read in my diary to get me into bed, stole my notes, snuck out, swiped the deal right out from under me. Then he released to the press that his father was an alcoholic. If that isn't brilliant strategizing, I do not know what is. Who would really blame me, Roxy? It had been 19 months and four days, or something like that. Not that I want people to know that either. So what if they call me a slut? If I am a slut, I'm not very good at it. Okay, he's just a bad guy, okay? He's everybody else in my life, they just hurt you and then they leave you and... I was a screw up, okay, when I was with Coop and Jonathan. But I changed. I was being a better version of myself. Probably the best version of me I can possibly be. There is no reason for someone not to love me. Emma. Emma. She's not exactly his anymore, but he would freak out if anything happened to her. No, 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 I'm talking about no. chill out, okay? All I'm saying is just, you know, maybe if he lost her for a couple of hours when he's supposed to be watching her, I would take really good care of her. I'd take her to the movies or something, you know, just, just long enough to make him sweat. Yeah, because if that is personal, that is hardcore betrayal, and then he would know what it feels like. Because <laughs> his news thing was not as big as his. You sound just like your father, just I am you... not like Dad. Oh, no? No, well, you already got him back, but that's not enough for you, and you are enjoying the you idea of You did not see the him. way that he just left me at Towers, Mom. And, and, and the way he did to Billy. Listen to me, honey. Listen to me. You cannot no! do this. No! Bill hurt me. That's why that you want to hit him again. <sighs> honey, honey, this, this is about you. This is... A... This is not about Bill. This is about you. We have to go. We have to get out of here. Mama! We make it my way. No, everything was going great, Mom. Okay, I got a job that I was good at. I, I got a place of my own. I was helping Billy and Dinah. I even helped Bill. Okay, I was being a good person. Honey, just because you're a good person doesn't mean that bad things aren't going to happen then to you. Then what's the point? I was bad, and so I lost Coop. And then Jonathan, and then Sarah, and then Granddad didn't even want anything to do with me, and now I've changed, and still nobody wants it. I'm still just me. No, no, honey, it's not. You always have me. You no, always. Do. You have her, and Rick, and your stepkids. You didn't even tell me you were getting married. In fact, that is the second time you got married without telling it's me. It's not like I planned that you didn't want to I don't care. I don't care. I am not like Dad but I am so glad that I am nothing like you. I am nobody's victim. When Jonathan not and Sarah look down and they check in on me, they are going to see that I am strong, that I have not fallen apart. And do you think that Sarah would be proud of your behavior now, do you? I am sorry that you lost Sarah. I am. But Lizzie, you have to learn to live for yourself now, not to prove something to her or to Jonathan or to anybody else. You have to find what you want in life. Sometimes, 
And what I want is to go back to that day and go off the cliff with them. What did mom say? What do I want? I should probably go with world peace. Wait, okay. I've got it. I want a lifetime of perfect hair days and calorie-free donuts. I want Roxy to be toilet trained. I want Billy to get sober. I want Dinah to get clean. I want my new little sister to have a real childhood. I want my daughter back. I want Tammy and Jonathan back, even if they'd never speak to me again. I want my dad to be how he was before he got sick. And I want... I want Bill to be how he was before I woke up. Room service? What? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. I, uh... I'm just not used to anybody taking care of me. Well, then you've been hanging out with the wrong crowd, you have. Flying the entire family down to St. Gabriel. We need time to heal. Bon voyage. I would like it very much if you would come. I have commitments. Your commitment, that job that you're nothing more than a glorified gopher in? Elizabeth, you are pregnant now. You need to be surrounded by your family. How do I turn down such a loving invitation? Well, let's see. Um, I'm not pregnant. You're not? False alarm. I'm sure you're devastated. Not another spalding baby for you to mold into an image of yourself. Well, well, that would explain the scene you pulled. You're not pregnant, huh? You know, you can't get anything right, can you? You have no idea. Send me a postcard from the island. See why I took her away? And then to treat her the way he treats you? Did, did you think that this was just going to erase all the pain? You just you put her in my arms and all is forgiven? Lizzie, I had to. I know, you did what you had to do, Grand. I couldn't have put it better himself. I said what about that me? I'm sorry. What about me? What about the last year of nights I spent in bed wishing that I was dead so that I could be with my daughter? Welcome to my life. Every day since I lost Tammy, I have been in a personal hell. You had Every her. day. You had her. You had, you had her to love and to hold it. I had nothing, Jonathan. I had nothing but my grief. I thought that I caused my own daughter's death. I'm sorry. You're I sorry. I wanted to tell you, but I couldn't have Alan find out. I am not scared of that man anymore. Trust me, I have been through the worst of it. You get to meet new people and see new places, and nobody knows who you are or what you've done, and you're kind of a stranger, you know. Unlike here in Springfield, where before you even say hello, everybody knows that I'm the loser that burns things down, and you're the... Spoiled trust fund bitch exactly so you go to a new place and you could be anyone you want to be i think 
I'll be smart. Is that what you want people to think about yes. you? Yes, I do, because I am. 